Hi, welcome back to Cedar Porch Homestead. I'm JR and what we're running in today is we are, it seems like we're leapfrogging the rain that keeps coming this spring. And one of the main things we have to do is keep up with the hygiene here on the homestead. So right now the goat's pen is pretty well saturated because they have been spending a lot of time in their pen due to all the rain. And that is getting extremely saturated with urine and droppings and just the rain itself getting blown in. So today we got to move all that and rather than it being waste, whether than it just going over into a mulch pile or off to the side, we use that to transition it over to our chickens here for their deep bedding. So I've got to make room for that deep bedding here because these guys have done a great job of already coast composting down all of their deep litter. So we got a lot of work to do. We only have a little bit of time to do it because we're getting more rain this afternoon. So let's get to work. Let's get this all cleaned up. Let's make our animals happy, right? So here in the chicken run, we just continually bring in fresh grass clippings, garden scraps, kitchen scraps, sawdust or wood shavings from the shop when we're doing uh, untreated hardwoods. And we just keep bringing that in as a carbon blanket for their chicken run. Uh, and what that does is they just dig through it. They continually turn it with their scratching and it creates a deep litter and a deep compost. So what we need to do now is just pull some of this out move it to our long-term compost so we can drop this down just a little bit so I can bring more inputs in and this is the cycle that we just continually bring things in they compost it down and let them do all the hard work and then it's just a short time that it spends in our long-term compost before it's ready for garden soil so I've made the mistake or what I call a mistake now in the past of sifting everything from here before I take it to the compost and I don't think I'm going to do that anymore because I'm doubling up the effort. So rather than using my sifter like what we used to do, I'm just going to shovel this into the wheelbarrow and take it straight over to the compost. I hear you. Hi guys. Let's scoop some poop, yeah? Pardon me. And this is where having the right tool for the job comes in handy. So today I just got this 10 tooth pitchfork and that was a absolute blessing on trying to get the bulk of this hay out. Now we're on a concrete slab here in the goat pen. So a scoop shovel is what I'm gonna to use to get the rest of that out. And I'll show you what I do with this concrete slab when I get it completely cleaned out. Thank you. 
And just like with our chicken coop, we're gonna spread out a liberal amount of First Saturday lime all over this concrete, and that way it's going to deodorize, it's gonna help dry some of those droppings and urine stains up, and it's also going to help prevent and kill any of the parasite load that might be on this concrete slab. After we spread out that first Saturday lime, we just use a straw bale that we get from Track Supply to add a little base coat to this concrete because these little hay wasters are gonna pull out enough hay out of their hay feeder to continually add to their bedding. These chickens will spend every waking hour that they're not laying as an egg on this pile, spreading it out, looking for anything and everything they can eat out of it. But also chickens get really bored and having them something to scratch gives them something to do and it decreases boredom. They won't pick on each other as bad. So it's a way of keeping your chickens healthy as well. And why spread all this out yourself when your chickens are more than happy to do all the work? And I don't feel like this video would be completed unless we showed you what the finished product is when you go through all these steps to make sure you're creating good soil. So we harvested some finished compost and all we have to do now is sift it. And when we sift it, what we're doing is taking out any of the bigger debris that needs to go back in the compost for decomposition. And then what we're left with is this rich black potting soil that we use in our garden. And it creates some of the best growing medium that we've ever developed. And that's by using our animals, like our goats, our rabbits, our chickens, to do most of the work and using them to turn and create this compost that then we get to harvest and use in our garden. While that might look slightly labor intensive, it's not really that bad because we only have to do that four times a year. So from cleaning out the goat pen completely to changing out the deep bedding in the chicken run, to composting, to sifting it out, all those systems are in place to create an amazing potting soil for our garden. And that goes into feeding us and feeding our chickens and feeding our goats again. So I love the systems that you can put in place in your own backyard. And all those systems really go into the effort to build your soil. Because if you don't have strong soil and you don't have good soil in your own backyard, your food's gonna not be as nutrient dense as it could be, your health is gonna suffer, and your animal's health is gonna start to suffer as well. So if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, go ahead and hit that notification bell so you're notified when we come out with new videos. If you have any recommendations on adding systems to our homestead or something that's worked for you, leave a comment below because we would love to hear about it. If you have any questions, also, feel free to ask. Other than that, we will see you on the next video.